What's going on everyone? So welcome back to another video. Although if this is your first time watching my channel, thank you for tuning in and hopefully you enjoy the video. So jumping straight into it, I just wanted to say that this video is gonna be 100% my opinion and my opinion only. And by no means am I saying that all these ship cosmetics are the best without a doubt and there's no other ones that are better because it is my opinion. With that being said, if you have any favorite ship cosmetics, please put them down in the comments because I'd love to read them. And just very quickly, this video was inspired by my Discord. So if you wanna go check out the Discord, it's linked down in the description. There's over 4,000 active members in there and hopefully you'll find something that you're looking for. Anyway, on with the extremely biased top five list. So starting off with my number five pick. Now this ship is the Hunter's Hull with the all black sails and one of the limited time shark figureheads. Now this shark figurehead is probably the best part of this entire ship and I'd sort of build the whole ship around that figurehead. And because I build the whole ship around the figurehead, that's why everything is very black and white. Now, I think the main reason why this ship setup really sticks out for me is because it's very basic and at first glance, it doesn't look like anything too special. So if you want to get out in the seas and you don't want people to feel intimidated when they're around you, this is a really great ship to use. And the best part about the ship is it really doesn't matter what cannon, capstan or helm you use because either way, it blends really nicely with the ship. So in summary, that's my number five. Moving on to number four. So before we even say anything about the number four spot, I'm sure a few of you already know what this ship setup is. But just for the few people out there that have no idea what this whole setup is, is it's the complete Athena setup. It's commonly referred to as the ghost ship, but the only way you can achieve this entire setup is by reaching Athena's 10. Now, Athena's is something that unlocks after you become Pirate Legend. But anyway, enough about that. Let's just get straight onto the point of why I like this so much. So put very, very simply, the reason I like this is because the amount of work that goes into getting this whole setup is insane. It's a very lengthy and tedious grind, but this is what you do get for going through it. Now, of course, it's very expensive. If you don't know the prices, they're roughly around 500,000 each piece, so it's not gonna be easy to obtain. But nevertheless, it's still my number four spot for the sole reason of it being very, very hard to get. Anyway, moving on to the number three spot. Very quickly, I want to give a massive thanks to one of my admins, Pirate Lord Salad, or if you want to find him on YouTube, his name is Disappointing Salad. I'm going to link him down in the comments, and I'm sure you could probably find him in the comment section if you look. This entire ship was 100% his setup. I do not have all of these cosmetics. So again, I thank him very much for giving me this ship so I can showcase it in a video. So this entire ship is 100% the Sea Dog setup. Now that is the Sea Dog figurehead, the Sea Dog hull, the Sea Dog flag, and of course, the Sea Dog cannons, helm, and capstan. This is a complete Sea Dog ship. Now, this is an extreme grind to get, but I assure you, it really does pay off. Now, the reason I've put this ship set up so high on my list is because, in my opinion, it's the most luxurious ship you can get on the entire ocean. The colors match so beautifully, and it's a really bright and nice ship that you can see from any distance away. And of course, with a ship like this, you're definitely going to turn a few heads. So anyway, one more time, thank you, Salad, for lending me this ship so I can use it in a video. So moving on now to my personal second favorite ship on the entire ocean. Now, originally, I was skeptical of putting this in here because it is extremely new, and I haven't had enough time to get used to it and really experience the ship. But nevertheless, I'm really feeling it at this moment, and I feel like I will for a fair time, so it had to go on the list. So if you couldn't tell already, the sails, the hull, and of course the figurehead that you see inside this video are 100% the obsidian layer. Now this obsidian layer was something you could get through watching Twitch Rivals, so unfortunately if you did miss Twitch Rivals, you're not going to be able to get this set up at all. But either way, it's nice and green, it's nice and luxurious, and green is one of my favorite colors of all time, so that's why it sits so highly on my list. But anyway, let me know what you think and tell me if this is one of your favorite ship cosmetics as well. So finally, moving on to my absolute favorite ship on the entire ocean. So this beautiful white ship can be obtained by being a Sea of Thieves insider. I'm not going to go into how you can be an insider because there's many videos out on YouTube. So feel free to check that out if that's something you're interested in. Now, the small little features that makes this ship step out to me was something that I found out very recently. And believe it or not, it was Salad that showed me this. So yes, this entire ship setup is very beautiful. That'll be the figurehead, the hull, and the sails. But you know what makes it even better? The legendary items. So if you equip this ship with a legendary helm, the legendary cannon, and the legendary capstan, you'll get a ship that looks as beautiful as this one. So I believe the reason this ship sticks out to me is because it's extremely clean. Like it is honestly the most cleanest ship on the entire ocean, in my opinion. It is so nice. And of course this ship stands out. So every time someone sees you on the ocean or sees a ship that looks like this, of course they're gonna be interested. And this looks so great on the brig, the galleon, and of course the sloop. But nevertheless, do let me know what you think of this ship setup. So with that being said, and without making this video way too long, that's in the quickest way possible, my top five favorite ship customizations. Now, hopefully this maybe gives you some ideas of what you want to do to make your ship look amazing. But if it doesn't, then hopefully you found some new cool cosmetics. Anyway, please put some of your favorite ship cosmetics down in the comments. I want to read them and I'm really open to learn some new things. However, thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed, feel free to leave a like to show your support and hopefully 
I'll see you all in the next video.